Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about irrigation and aspiration of cortical matter during phacoemulsification cataract surgery. Uh, the last time we discussed was about fragment removal uh, and this time we will be continuing uh, with uh, INA of the cortical matter. So uh, what you can use is either a bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula or you can either use a coaxial or a unimanual uh, IA cannula. Uh, what I personally uh, prefer is a coaxial uh, IA cannula as uh, you don't have to increase the side pores in cases of bimanual IA. So uh, the important parts in uh, doing IA is uh, once you insert the IA tip uh, make sure uh, the uh, tip uh, the IA tip is facing upwards and uh, never ever use the IA tip in sidewards or downwards direction as that can uh, catch hold of the posterior capsule. So the aspiration port should always be facing upwards and uh, hold uh, while removing the cortex, hold the cortex from periphery with low vacuum, drag them to the central safe zone and use high vacuum for aspiration the cortex. You can use the second instrument for cleaning the block tip uh, with the cortical matter as um, aspiration becomes easier. Always use swinging movement while removing the cortex. A large chunk of cortex can be removed by this technique. So slowly hold with low vacuum, swing the cortex and bring them to the center and use high vacuum for aspiration of the cortex. The subincisional cortex should always be the last part to be removed. Uh, just in case if you are having trouble in moving that part, what you can do is you can place the IOL in the bag, rotate the IOL and then remove that cortex. As IOL provides a barrier between your IA tip and the posterior capsule which makes this part way much safer. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.